Hello everybody, it's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, making a video out of Boise, Idaho. We're looking at the Ford 5.4 liter Triton. This is the one that had a internal catastrophic failure. It blew a valve and a lifter and a rocker and all that stuff and it all got chewed up and messed up and so Due to the issues and problems that come with these engines, I'm really just doing my best to put a band-aid on this so that way the person can take this vehicle and get rid of it ASAP. So that's what we're doing and we're really getting now getting down to the serious nitty-gritty of it. I was really hoping that we could get away with uh, replacing cam phasers and lifters and stuff. I did not expect so much damage to be inside of there. So uh, now the head has to come off, and I need to get this. Uh, I need to get this camshaft out and replaced because, as you can see, one of the lobes on it has been completely destroyed. So, and I've got it. I've got my cam phaser loose. What I find interesting on this one is my cam phaser does not want to come off at all. <sighs> so whereas the other side my cam phaser just slid right on off I had no issues there so I found I found that quite quite interesting there so let's go ahead I'm gonna stick you on my head here and uh, let's get to work I'm using a 10 millimeter socket and I'm gonna use the just about the same sequence I use to remove any camshaft I'm gonna start in the middle I'm gonna loosen things up And I'm going to work my way to the outside. All right, once I've done that. Set my ratchet back down. I'm going to start removing them. And it's going to push up on you. That's fine. Just take your time and work with it. And you got to keep in mind all those valve springs are, are pushing up. If you uh, don't remove this in proper sequence like I'm doing here, starting from the middle and working your way out, you do take the chance of warping your camshaft. I've seen it happen before. Alright, let's see if that'll do for us what we want it to. Now when removing your cam caps, you want to keep them in the exact same order that they go and they are numbered for you, but I always just like to keep them in their, in their proper order. So that's going to be our middle one, so we'll set that there. I just had a little piece of wood there laying around, it's a, it's a kid's game that broke. So I'm using that. Get yourself a piece of cardboard or something, maybe. And keep your bolts with them so you don't lose them. Okay, these, now all of these cam caps, they're numbered, and if you take them apart properly, then, uh, you won't lose track of them. 
you have to put these cam caps back in the same spot that they came from because uh, keep it simple they all wear differently my dogs out there running around hold on a second Ruby <laughs> Ruby messing with the neighbor dog all right Okay, let's set that one over there. We'll get these two end ones moved. That one just like to jump right off of there. Get you there. Ugh. All right, we just took our time there and got all of our cam cam caps removed. So now we should be able just to lift this camshaft up and out of here. Be careful, you don't want to lose your, your rollers. And there you go. And I've got a towel set here. Like I said, this camshaft is no good anymore. Look at all that damage that was done to that one lobe from getting beat round in there. I don't see really any other damage. Which makes me feel confident about band-aiding this vehicle and helping this person get out of it. All right, well, I'm gonna put you back on my head so I can use both of my hands here. And I'm just gonna take this, wrap it up. I still do wanna examine it further. I kinda of wanna answer why this thing won't come apart like it's supposed to. So we'll just set that there on the bench. Now we've got our our rocker rollers to deal with rockers to deal with whatever you want to call them uh, these these are rocker rollers they have the roller in the middle now you want to keep these in the exact same spot okay so you know that's number one number two And number three, okay? Because this is a three valve engine, so you got one, two, and three for cylinder one. One, two. Now, this is where we're missing the one that's all tore up. That's the one we're gonna fix and replace. So we've got one, two, three for cylinder three. One, two, three for cylinder four, okay? And now I'm just gonna leave these like this. All right, I've got my cam caps. I know that they're in the right position and they're where they need to go correctly. And then I've got my rocker rollers and if you notice, they're all in the direction that they need to be in and they will all go in the exact same spot with this one being brand new along with some other things. So I'm actually going to take this now. I'm gonna set this on the bench. And here in just a minute, I'm gonna wrap this with some saran wrap. That's my own personal just paying attention to, to detail being tidy. So let's go look at our cylinder head now and see what we have. All right.
right, so now we got to get in here, get some of this gunk and stuff cleaned up out of here. And uh, see, I had, I have all of these lifters brand new to replace. I was going to, I mean, and I still am. Since we have it, we're going to put them all in. But yeah, I, uh, I was really going to, I was really hoping this engine... I don't know. Honestly, I'm to the point, guys, where I'm just advising all of my Triton customers to buy a new vehicle. Get as far away from it as you can. So, all right, folks. Well, I'm going to end this video here so you kind of get an idea of how to remove a camshaft. Next thing I really need to do is I need to get this radiator out of my way because in order to get this head off, I need to be able to stand down inside of this area get the leverage I need to get that head off. So that will be my next video. Hope everybody, this is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you have any questions, please shoot me a comment. I'll get to you as soon as I can. I am signing off.